Hello guys, today we are going to learn three different ways to create custom CSS cursor. The first way is let's go to the styles.css file here. I have some basic styling which you can see in the browser, right? And uh, the important thing here to note is this star, which means it applies to your entire uh, application. And now here I can write a new property cursor pointer. Okay, and if I save it now, you can see instead of that arrow, we have the pointer, right? Similarly, if I want to use a image instead of this pointer, I can directly put the URL of that image. Okay, and that will be displayed. So let me paste that. It's the URL of uh, the image I want to display as a cursor and then save. Now, as you can see, now we have a heart here instead of a cursor or a pointer. And remember, we need to pass some value here. So this is a kind of fallback. So let's say uh, there is some problem with the URL of the image. Uh, let me just delete some words from some uh, characters from it. Now, obviously, the URL is incorrect. And if I save it, now you can see it is displaying the pointer because we have passed the pointer here. Right? If I delete this one and save, and now still the URL is incorrect. Now this is the default behavior. It displays the arrow. Okay, let me correct it. So let me get the pointer back here and I have corrected the URL as well. Now you can see it's working again. The second way to create a custom CSS is using JavaScript. So for that, first of all, let me create a div in the HTML. Uh, let's give it a class name of uh, not container, class name of cursor, or let's call it my cursor. Now we need to grab this div in the JS file. And for that, I also need to uh, import the JS file here. So I'm going to write script and then SRC is my main dot JS and then I can close it. Now let's uh, copy this class name from here and because we'll be using it in the main dot JS here, I'm going to grab that. Let's call it my cursor equals to uh, document dot very selector and since it is a class i will be using dot and then the class name right now we have our cursor and now we want to style it right so for that i'm going to write document dot first we need to add a event listener to it right and the event listener would be mouse move whenever you move the mouse uh, we want to do something right so here it gets an event. And inside this curly brackets, we can style this cursor dot style dot left equals to e dot phase x. Don't worry, I'll explain what, what's going on. And then there is this pixel. Okay, so what's happening is here we get our cursor. Actually, it should be my cursor, not cursor. Now here we are styling the cursor from the left side. Basically, uh, what it does is this e dot pays x. It is the distance from the left side till the cursor. So if my cursor is here, then this distance will be calculated. And if my cursor is here, then from here to till the left end of the screen, the distance will be calculated. And then we are adding a pixel to it. Okay. Similarly, I'm going to calculate the distance from top as well. And for that, we can pass e dot pays y. So if my cursor is here, then it will calculate from the top. So basically, if my cursor is here, then from left side and the top side, we are styling the cursor. Now I can save it. Next, let's go to the style.css. Here, I'm going to write my cursor because that is the class name we have given to this div, which we want to style. And here, I'm just going to write some styles. So let me quickly write those styles. And now, since we have written this cursor, uh, I can comment this one, the old one, and let's save it. Now, guys, if I go to the screen, you can see we have a second cursor, which is looking great. But now you can see this has a, this arrow also. I want to get the rid of this. So for that, in this uh, root element, I can just type cursor none. With that, that arrow should be gone. So okay, now the arrow is gone. But the problem is, if I hover over something, you can see. 
we cannot see through it. So for that, we can add some opacity. 0 0.5. And yeah, now we can see through it. And guys, the next way is we can merge uh, two things like one is this circle itself and the other one is that uh, heart which we had created before. So let me uncomment the heart back and I'm going to comment this cursor none because uh, we cannot have two properties right in a single CSS blog. So let me save it. And now you can see this heart is also there and the circle is also there, but they are uh, not aligned. I just want to have this heart in the center of the circle. For that, I can use uh, a transform property. So let me write that transform. And then there is this translate. And you can pass some values. Uh, I've come up with 21% and minus 21%. Okay, now see the heart is uh, in the middle of the circle and it looks good. It also follows it correct. See, I, I hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned something new. If you know any other way to create a custom CSS cursors, please comment below.